Surgery is delayed, patients turned away, essential care disrupted. This is the state of hospitals in South Korea this week. The nation has among the fewest physicians per capita in the developed world. So this month, the government announced plans. It wants to raise admission quota for medical, sco medical schools by 65%. But the plan was immediately criticized by doctors in South Korea. They said the government is ignoring real issues that face medical care. On Monday, more than 6,000 doctors threatened resignations. Today, thousands took to the streets. So far, the government has refused to budge. But while this tussle persists, it is the people of South Korea who are suffering. Here's a report. Earlier this month, the South Korean government announced a plan to raise the nation's quota for medical schools by 65 percent. The medical school admission would increase to 5,000, up from 3,000 per year. You see, South Korea has an affordable health care system, but it has among the fewest physicians per capita in the developed world. The country has only 2.6 doctors per 1,000 people way below the average of 3.7 in countries belonging to the OECD, or the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, basically a club of rich nations. South Korea has the second lowest physician-to-people ratio. Only Mexico fares worse. And this poses many problems. Primary among them is South Korea's rapidly aging population. Which means it needs more doctors especially in the rural areas where healthcare facilities are in a sorry state. Which is why the plan to raise the admission quota was announced. And most South Koreans approved of it, except the doctors. They immediately criticized the plan and took to the streets. On Monday, more than 6,000 doctors in training resigned. That's over half the nation's physicians. Today, thousands took to the streets. And this is the result. Medical centers are reporting disruptions in operations. Patients are being sent back. Critical surgeries are being delayed. As a person of this country and a patient, I feel like they are using sick people as an excuse. I hope doctors and the government find some compromise and quickly return to their posts so that patients don't miss their treatment. But the question is, why are the doctors protesting? They say the shortage of doctors is not industry-wide. It is confined to particular specialties, like emergency care. They claim the government is ignoring the real issue and not fixing what makes some specialties unappealing. Like harsh working conditions, low wages and the burnout epidemic. Surveys say doctors in training work over 80 hours a week in South Korea. They regularly work multiple shifts that last longer than 24 hours. The doctors want the government to fix this. But that's not all. They argue that the new policy would make things worse. How? It would lead to an overflow of doctors, affecting their job prospects. Also, it might lead to competition among doctors. Why is this a bad thing? It could impact their salaries. Then there is the risk of over-treatment of patients, as well as lower quality of medical education. But the government is not convinced by these arguments. Trainee doctors should not take collective action by taking people's life and health hostage. The increase of medical school enrollment can no longer be delayed. If the admissions quota is not increased, by 2035, South Korea will have a shortage of around 10,000 doctors. This could birth a medical care crisis. So officials are urging doctors to stay in their posts, warning of legal repercussions for those who refuse to comply. And caught in this tussle between the government and doctors are ordinary South Koreans. Some in urgent need of medical care but with nowhere to go.